I'm Angie Heinrich. Thank you so much for purchasing my birdhouse substrate. I wanted to take the opportunity to give you just a couple of tips and tricks to get started on mosaicing this substrate. So after doing a few of these birdhouses, there are some tips and tricks that I have discovered that make mosaicing this birdhouse just a little bit easier because sometimes a 3D substrate can be a little bit tricky. So one of the first things I want to talk to you about is the adhesive. So the adhesive that I like to use is the GE silicone, and you can use the white or the clear, whichever you prefer. And these you can find at any hardware store, really. And this is a kitchen and bath version of those silicones. I also use a Sharpie to color some of the lines because I tend to use a lot of black grout. Therefore, I'm going to use a black Sharpie. Now, if you're going to grout this a light color or a white color, I don't think that I would bother with this, but I have found that there are places I need to color a little bit so that after I'm done grouting, you don't see any exposed white. So the areas where I like to do this are around the door frame here. And I basically just take the Sharpie and I color around the bottom of the door and up the sides. And you'll notice that I am getting the Sharpie on the door side and on the base side, just like that. There's something else I like to do occasionally, and that is put a layer of this stained glass foil tape around the bottom of the birdhouse base. And I do this a lot when I'm in a hurry. And the reason I like to do this is that I want the tiles to be lifted up off the table a little bit so that as I'm working with the birdhouse, I'm not hitting the birdhouse. And I'll show you hitting the tiles rather, sorry about that. So I just attach it to the bottom, and I'm not gonna go all the way around, but this gives you an idea. And then the tiles will get glued right on top of this line, so that when I'm working with the birdhouse and I tip it forward, the tiles that I just glued here are not going to be knocked off by tipping the birdhouse forward. Now that's when I'm in a hurry. So one of the big things that I like to do is work on one side at a time. And there are a couple places that are important to do first before you move on to the other places. So now I have adhered my copper tape all the way around. And I've also colored around my door so that after I'm done grouting, I'm not exposing any white lucite. So the first thing that I like to glue down are these tiles along the bottom row. So in this case, I've chosen these three quarter inch metallic tiles, and I'm just going to spread my GE silicone down, and I'm going to glue this first row down. Now, one of the things that I like to do with my tile is that I like to overlap the front row over the side row. So as I put my side row down, I will overlap the tile in the front so that it creates a 90 degree overlap. So I'm gluing this down and then overlapping the top to create a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to finish placing the tiles on the front, right on top of that copper tape line. And then when I get them all set down, I'll just straighten that line a little bit. So I like to do this on the front and then on the sides, and then I'm gonna let this dry for a few hours before I move on to the next section. And the reason I like to do that is because I don't want my pieces moving around too much on me. So I'm going to 
do these foundational areas, let them set up so that I'm not dealing with a bunch of floating tiles as we move forward. So now that bottom row has sat for a couple of hours and it's nice and stable. And now I wanna work on the back. And I want to place my tiles around the door, let that set up before I go on to the next step. I will take a smallish tile. So this is an eight millimeter uh, tile and I will line the inside of the door. I'm not gonna do this whole thing, but I'm leaving just a tiny bit of space there so that the door will open when we want it to open. Then, so I would do this all the way around the door. And then just on the other side of the door, I'm going to use this 12 millimeter tile and I'm going to take this up the other side, leaving that space in between the two so that I can pull the grout out of that space so our door will function. And then on the outside, I'm actually going to pull but this tile all the way up the side. So I have gone ahead and I have glued down all the gray tile on the inside of the door, this 12 millimeter tile on the outside of the door, and then the three quarter inch tile up the sides. And this is about how far I will take it. I will let this completely dry, and then I will move on to the rest of the birdhouse. One question I do get a lot of the time though is how to deal with the hinges. So the hinges um, do have these little holes right here and you don't wanna cover those because that will impinge on the uh, movement of the hinges. But what you can do is you can glue a row here. So usually I choose a color that's similar to the 12 millimeter tile that I use. And then on the inside, I will take the same tile that I went around the door with. So feel free to glue onto the hinges, just don't cover the holes. That's it in terms of tips and tricks to get you started on your birdhouse. I hope you have a fabulous time creating. And thank you so much for making me a part of your creating experience. And if you think of it, send me some pictures. I would love to see what you're working on and happy mosaicing.